guys welcome welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a little vlog day in the life um currently drinking my greens i mixed up as you guys saw the lemonade flavor i've been traveling a lot this month i've been making sure like once i got back been making sure to drink my kick my one-up kickstart my one-up greens because there's people hacking on the plane and i feel like my family's been sick there's something going around and i'm really trying to like not get sick because i am going to the grand caymans next week so i need to be in pristine health so i've been drinking my one up this is the lemonade flavor so dang good the miami vice one is really good too so i'm gonna pick out an outfit get ready for the gym and do some legs i'm excited to well, actually <laughs> March is going to be an inconsistent gym month too and I know that and I feel like I've been so inconsistent because of all the travel and just depression so I have less and I feel like I talk about this all the time but like been so inconsistent with lifting and eating right I the body dysmorphia has been so bad my most recent trip I feel like my glutes have disappeared and I just feel like I don't have any muscle and so I'm like really motivated to get back on track but I know I'm not going to be able to be consistent because of all the travel that's happening. So I just need to stop beating myself up and just realize it is what it is. Me going to the gym today is still better than me just being like, oh, well, I'm not going to go. No, we're going to go to the gym today and I want to film a separate video, um, but I'll pop in some clips of me at the gym anyways. But I want to do like a another gym vlog like I did with my back workout. I feel like I had fun. Like, I don't know. There was like no one, it's Saturday, so like no one's gonna be at the gym, I don't think. So I feel like now's the perfect time to do a gym vlog. I got my mics charged and we're gonna chit chat through my workout. Um, I just feel like it's a more fun way to like see my workout, see what I'm doing versus me just showing clips with music over it. A lot more helpful too. Um, so we're gonna do a leg day for the grounds app, programming more workouts. Cause again, I have my juicy six week program, but we're trying to put out more. So so I've been testing other workouts, different movements. I definitely want to have an at-home juicy program, that's for sure. Because that was like my number one question for like people who wanted to do it at home. So I am trying to make an at-home juicy, but also another six-week gym program. So I've been like trying out new things and there are some like new movements that I have been loving, especially if you are a scoliosis gal and certain movements, barbell movements have been really hard um, or you're trying to build up you know you have a gluten balance and you're trying to build up one side but march madness yeah i now understand because i've got grand cayman trip then after that <clears throat> i go back to texas to shoot um for grounds and then um buff bunny's flying some of the girls out for the houston rodeo which i've never been and it's we're going to see the jonas brothers so i'm so freaking excited i love the jonas brothers and i never got to see them when i was little so i feel like a little kid again and i'm so freaking i've got my outfit picked out for the houston rodeo it is over the top but when am i not when in you know i feel like for these type of events it's the jonas brothers like you have to be over the top so i'm so excited for my outfit and i didn't have to buy anything new i'm really trying to save my money and be smarter with my money this year also budgeting and so you know i was scrolling through like websites and i was like shopping and then i, I was like bailey i know you have stuff in your closet that you can just use and i sure enough did and so i'm that's my goal again for 2024 is just to be smarter with my money you know the clothes that are sitting in my closet with still tags still on them friggin wear them you know instead of buying new outfits girl you better put those clothes on or list them on poshmark you know so that is my goal for 2024 and then after that houston trip most likely i'm gonna be going back to houston to shoot bottoms i hope I hope I'm not fired of the shoe bottoms for the next Buff Bunny drop. But then I have to get taxes. Taxes are right around the corner and I need to file for an extension. But I hate being an adult. Also like what, if they know how much I have to pay for taxes, just freaking tell me. Why do they make us do it? And then find us when we get it wrong. Ugh. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna drink this. And then we're gonna pick out a gym outfit, which is my favorite part. There's nothing more motivating than when you have like new gym fits or even not even new, but just like finding different mix and match combos with pieces you already have. And 
I just feel like a cute gym fit really does motivate me to get my butt to the gym. So, that's what I'm going to do. After the gym, come home. I'm super excited to drink my my green apple um, clear whey from 1UP. Again, my code Bailey will save you 20% of all the products. And the code is stackable. So, the more you add in your cart, the higher the discount you get. Um, but the clear whey green apple... I really didn't, I was nervous, not, not that I was nervous, like I knew green apple was a good flavor, but I wasn't sure it was going to be like rocket pop, but bro, the more I drink it, the more I'm quickly becoming obsessed with that flavor. I really hope they do a lemonade soon, but like the green apple, if you haven't tried Clear Way, you are missing out. Like Clear Way is like a must for me. I drink it almost every day. It is a staple of my routine. I don't understand why more brands don't do Clear Way. It's literally protein juice so dang good so much easier to chug than a thick creamy protein shake also a lot easier to mix up and I'll probably play them for the rest of the night maybe start prepping for the grand caymans because i do leave quite soon i get my hair done in a few days i'm getting my roots touched up just my money piece i literally just asked for like this band to be bleached i'm getting a haircut a basic trim nothing crazy but that's the plan Now we're gonna pick out a gym fit. I'm feeling leggings because it's still cold outside. I kind of want to wear the red lazuli label that I dyed. I feel like I don't really wear red much and also I feel like a lot of brands don't do much red anymore. So I'm just feeling red at the moment. So I think we're gonna go with these. These are the lazuli scrunch sculpt. Literally a BBL on a legging and I dyed the bone gray scarlet red with the writ dye and it turned out pretty good for the most part but for some reason i don't know what happened maybe i didn't let the powder mix up enough but it's got these random like marks all over it and i washed it and tried to get it out but it didn't come out but i mean if you're that close up to me to see that then you're too close currently really like red at the moment and like as you can see i don't have like any red <laughs> So I definitely want to start adding more red into my wardrobe, but we're going to go with this. I have a red bolero that I'm going to pair with it and then probably do a white bra because I don't have a red bra that'll match. So. Okay, so here's the final fit. I went with the black instead of white. I feel like I don't really wear black sports bras that much and I feel like red you can pair it with black or white so this is what I am wearing this is actually a crop shop boutique bra that they randomly sent in the mail I don't think it was PR I got this like email saying like to fill out this form um if something that you wanted from the Isabel Mathers drop that sold out and I was like okay and they sent me this and it's actually really comfy it fits really nice it's an extra small I don't know the name of it but if I can find it I'll link it down below these are the Zuli scrunch sculpt I dyed in red um extra small bone gray <laughs> and this is the booty cheeks again it's got that thick compression to lift and then I'm pairing it with my black and white um, New Balance 9060s and then a Princess Polly um, red bolero shrug that came with actually like a matching top, like it came as like a two piece set with like a crop and this. And I feel like it, it pays, it's not obviously identical, but it goes well enough. Now we gotta do my hair. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling two low buns. So kind of like space buns, but instead of high up, they're like low. That's the vibe I'm going for, I think. Ugh. All right, we've got our money pieces. Okay, so we're gonna split our hair down the middle. Tie off one side, that way you don't accidentally get it like random pieces when you're tying the other one. Just like that. And then don't pull your money piece into it. Pull your hair back. Okay, so we've got one done. Okay. 
can't tell if this is looking cute or an absolute nar. cuter if I had bobby pins because then I could actually like shape the buns better but I lose bobby pins like chapstick. I like to drink this while working out. And I'll drink the BCAs during my workout and then creatine protein shake after. It's got amino acid, promotes growth and protein synthesis, and helps with performance and strength. I used to be super consistent with my BCAAs and then I kind of stopped for a long time, but now I want to get back into my routine. It helps promote rehydration. So this is the blue raspberry flavor. Take out my buns because it literally felt like my hair throughout my whole workout was being ripped out the bottom. I think I had them a little too tight. But now we're gonna mix up a protein shake because I like to drink a protein shake after my workout. And again, I try to get in two. And I like to clear away for like during the day and then at night I'll have like a chocolatey thick creamy one blended up with like peanut butter and stuff like that. The green apple is limited edition. Hopefully though, it'll like be consistent because it is like the more I drink it, the more it's becoming one of my favorites and creeping up right next to blue raspberry. If you haven't tried Clearway, I would definitely give this flavor or the blue raspberry a try. The Rocket Pop is good too, but I just feel like the more, I just like these a little bit better. Again, I'm patiently, I say this every time, but I one up. We need a lemonade flavor because for summer, if you make like a frozen strawberry lemonade protein, like slushy, so good. So I'm hoping they come out with that. Code Bailey, again, will save you 20%, but we're gonna mix this up. So for my protein shake, sometimes I'll add it in the night one, like in the chocolate one, and blend it up. But right now I think I'm just gonna add it to the green apple. So it's just the unflavored Pure Rebuild Creatine. And again, I like the unflavored because you can mix it in with your protein shake and drink both in one go. Got a bunch of stuff for Graham, excuse me, Graham Caymans because so I, ha I work with White Box, again, one of my favorite places to shop for clothing, swimwear, and they're having like issues with like customs, so it got stopped. And I had to like fill out all this information, but it still hasn't like moved or left customs. So I'm, it hasn't arrived. I leave literally this Friday, today's Monday and nothing I order online is probably gonna make it in time, so I had to go in store. But everything that I ordered for the trip was from White Box in that package, so I have nothing. I have like no dresses for the wedding. Um, so now I have to scramble and find stuff I already have. Um, I went to Target, Airy Hollister, like, the stuff I like, I like online boutiques, like unique pieces, and unfortunately, my mall where I live is not that. So 
I just got some like basic stuff from like Hollister, Airy, Target. So this is Target. I actually ordered the bottoms online and they're coming literally the day before I leave. But the blue was stunning. And then I do have some white fox and night swim pieces that I can take. And then again, I can always bring other stuff that I've worn before. And then I saw this one and I thought it was so dang cute because it has little oranges on it. Hopefully it looks flattering on. I, I don't even, yeah, I still struggle to find bathing suits that are flattering. Um, I have like a few where like the bottoms shape me nicely and then some just give like diaper booty i don't know how to describe it but also some like just i feel like don't really like do anything for my waist so then they just aren't very flattering so i honestly don't like wearing a bathing suit <laughs> we're going to grand cayman so i can't i have to put on a bathing suit you know i'm gonna be in the ocean swimming taking advantage of that but it's from target it's got these cute little oranges that is like a built-in underwire bra no oh, swimsuit which I normally don't wear, but I'm trying to venture out. And then the bottoms are just tie bottoms. They are more coverage, which I'm not super crazy about, but it is what it is. I like a cheeky moment. I thought it was cute. It'd be cute with like a cream cover up. It's just this red, like wine color with like gold shimmer in it. Triangle top. And then I got this metallic one, which I don't know how I feel about the bottoms because I really don't like bottoms like this. But I liked the print. I thought it was fun. I thought it was vibrant. So I did grab it anyways. But this one was from Target as well. And then I got more of these pants. These are my favorite pants ever, like lounge, sleep. I have them in every single color. I have them in like three of the same grays because I wear them 24 seven. It's the lounge straight leg, like they've got pockets, but it's just so dang comfy. And they make your butt look really good for being like flowy lounge pants. So when I saw they had pink, I was like, heck yeah. And then I got these, or this from Airy, which I then went to Target after and Target had like the exact same thing. I'm not kidding, but for $10 cheaper and I was like, Go figure, but I'm too lazy to go return this. So I'm just gonna take the L. But it's this like oversized linen button down. So I can use this as a cover up. And then I went to Hollister and got this bathing suit. There was a cuter one that I wanted, but all the smaller sizes were taken. So I just went with the green one. And then I got this one. I've never worn like a cream bathing suit before, but I figure with the tan, I feel like it wouldn't look too, too bad. Uh, I just really like the style and the, like I just felt like it looked more elegant, more classic than <laughs> the oranges, but I wanted to have like options. So that's everything I got from the mall. I am now gonna drink this and then I need to start editing and reply to some emails. I'm so confused. What's going on? I, I turned it off. <laughs> Silly me. All right, it's a new month. Sir, do I have March in here? Slay. I'm gonna go in, in my calendar, what is this, receipt. And at the beginning of every month, this is from Target, um, I like to set the, per it says personal goals, health goals, work goals, financial goals, and then important dates. So I'm gonna fill this out and I kind of like to write it in like a manifestation format, so like as if, it's already happened um and then again just jot down some dates for march because march is a hectic month so i figured might as well write it all down prep plan to help my brain i'm gonna go to lunch with my mom and my roommate who's my mom's friend but she's currently staying with me i feel like i never go out to eat as much anymore um so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get some chips and queso and then I'm really craving a cheese quesadilla and a burrito. 
beef burrito with some rice and beans. I usually never finish it all, so then I can have leftovers for another day, which I'm paying full. Better bang for your buck. Yeah, I think we're gonna go in like an hour, so I still have time to do all of this. Edit a little bit. Would I put have the fattest, juiciest wagon in the personal goals or the health goals? <laughs> oh, okay, so the wedding. Grand Cayman is March 8th through the 12th. The shooting for Grounds and then Buff Bunny Houston Rodeo is March 14th through, I don't know yet. I definitely want to be home before the 19th though. Um, actually, I definitely want to, yeah, I definitely want to be home before the 19th, preferably get home on the 18th because the lazuli drop, um, and I'm going to need to like crank that content out before the drop, which is the 21st. Shoot! And then, oh my God, I'm stressed. And then the outfit launch is the 23rd, so I need to have at least a a little bit of a week to get all my reviews, edit, get the reels. Watching Love Island All Stars, and I'm on episode nine, and I'm really sad. I really want Callum and Molly to get back together, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And I don't like Mitch. Can't stand him. I didn't like him on his season. Don't like him on this season either. Um, I just don't like the way he treats women. He's doing the same thing he did last year. Where he like tells, oh, you're my you're my top choice, you're my number one to every single girl, and it's like I don't get it. I don't want. I would not give Mitch the time of day. Kika, what are you doing on your day? She loves anything Sherpa material. Oh, I feel like she was about to pounce at me. She is, she's like, what are you doing? She is a sassy cat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Howdy. You want cuddles? She says, heck no.